The Seattle Seahawks at 6-10 are traveling to Arizona to take on the Cardinals here. Cardinals 11-5 have already clinched a divisional or have already clinched a playoff spot. Currently, uh, they are fifth, which means they are currently a wild card team. There is a chance if the Rams lose and the Cardinals win, that the Cardinals win the division. So the Cardinals are at home here. They're favored by six and a half, over under 48. Seahawks at six and ten don't have anything to play for other than pride, other than like the stuff we talked about where we don't know the future of Russell Wilson. We don't know the future of Pete Carroll. Like mm-hmm. they probably want to go out on top that 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 uh roster construction and that core they've had they've had a great run they won a super bowl i think they made another super bowl on top of that yeah and so um i i you know there there's too much history there and those aren't guys that roll over and die even though they're out yeah. of it so um i still expect a pretty competitive game here the cardinals again do want to win and they're still hoping for a rams loss to clinch that division what are you guys seeing for this game yeah, I, you mentioned it. Russell Wilson, this may potentially be his final game. Um, so I wonder if that brings a camaraderie and uh, they fight a little bit harder. They've got the personnel with uh, Rashad Penny. They've got Lockett that's coming back and DK Metcalf, who um, they all ate last week. They had great games. They're all fat. <laughs> yeah, now they can't play. Yeah. Now they, they had great games last game, but uh, it all boils down to, uh, you know, Arizona's rushing attack was the reason why they won prior uh mm-hmm. when in their first matchup so if if seahawks are not able to stop the run mm-hmm. now that was when they didn't have kyler murray right, so yeah. it was uh Colt Colt McCoy, McCoy. um as the serviceable quarterback that came in uh, so now with kyler murray you have a tougher matchup so uh, you know it's I, I see the cardinals winning this game for sure um but the seahawks can definitely keep it competitive yeah the cardinals are not as strong as they were early in the season right like they scored 30 or more points uh they in the first six out of their seven games. Mm-hmm. Like we were like, damn, these guys have beat anybody. Unstoppable. They've only scored over 30 points twice in the last nine games, right? That's still a big accomplishment. 30 is like, you know, yeah. the Vikings yeah. do it all the time. But, you yeah. know, anyways. Um, so, yeah, like they're not on the same pace they were early in the season. They're the fifth team in the last 10 seasons, in a decade, fifth team in a decade to make the playoffs despite losing three straight games in December or January. Damn. Like it's not easy to make the playoffs when you end in yeah. a bad note. Yep. If they lose this, they will be one of two teams uh, that makes the playoffs, uh, despite having a losing, yeah, losing despite four, having yeah. like losing four, four games. Yeah, that just that just doesn't happen very uh-huh. often. Um, and then some things about the uh, what history says about the Seahawks. The last two times the Seahawks lost ten or more games in a season, their head coach did not return the following year. So. You know, I don't know if that plays a role here, but I mean, if that's how they like to judge their coaches, mm-hmm. and we're already seeing Pete Carroll kind of taking like a step out of the door, mm-hmm. it, that he could very well not come back if they lose this game. Yeah, I mean, they're already at ten losses, so if yeah. history tells us anything, he's already yeah. fired. True, true. This is just a a consolation yeah. game, but yeah, I, I'm. I think so. I think Pete Carroll's gone there. I think. If they're going to have to choose between Russell and Pete, you obviously choose Russell to me still, but it could be a situation where they're both gone and it's complete blow up and rebuild. To me, it's more likely that Pete Carroll's gone and they're like, Russell, stay here. Let's try to build around what you want Mm -hmm. versus, hey, Pete, you're like the oldest head coach in the NFL. Stay and let's lose a franchise quarterback. They're both old in terms of their position. Like, I mean, Russell's what, 33? 34. Four, thirty-three. I mean, at, at that point, how many? More, you have what? Six more. Tom years? Brady's forty-five. Tom Brady is a freak. He's, he's Russell. Got, Russell. Russell's also thirty-three, a man. Uh, to me, thirty-three for a yeah. uh, for a elite top tier elite quarterback is not old. Yeah, dude. As long as that finger is good next year, it'll this guy fine. is a stud. It'll be fine. Yeah. He also has been having the worst, like one of the worst offensive, offensive linemen lines. over many years, and yep. still producing. You know, it is what it is. The defense is really, really bad. Yeah, yeah. They need to build pieces around him. Like, if there's one quarterback that has proven himself this whole decade mm-hmm. it's russell wilson like a lot like and tom brady but he has a lot of things going his way versus the seahawks they're really not helping out yeah they, they're really not trying to help russell wilson i think that's why he's kind of like dude if you're not gonna give me anything i'm gonna go join some other team and they're gonna give me everything but i think they would be wise if they had to get rid of somebody Pete carroll go home play with their grandkids whatever mm-hmm. russell wilson i can't see him wearing a different jersey just Same. like how i can't see aaron Rodgers wearing a different jersey mm-hmm. like russell wilson is the seahawks yeah. Yeah. from what i know and uh so the seahawks are not in a position to rebuild because they're they don't have draft picks yeah and so one of the luring things is the trading get, get, yeah. Yeah. russell wilson to for get some, some for some draft hey vikings make that call and <sighs> make that if russell wilson came to minnesota oh my god <laughs> I, can't of silence. Even, I, I was trying Paul. to think of the last time i'd be that excited and i don't think there would be the last time something big like that happened? Like, 
a Rus- like Russell Wilson caliber player. Yeah, because he's still in his prime. Yeah, like he's still a I prime quarterback. The that. thing is that Russell Wilson has a no trade clause, so yeah. he probably so he'd have to, to go to a good he, team. He's willing yeah. to waive it. For oh, dude, no, no, this guy <laughs> shots fine. The Minnesota Vikings constructed <laughs> offensively. Russell Wilson would salivate yeah. at yeah. the thought of, of throwing to Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen and KJ Osborne and having Dalvin Cook and. Irv Smith and fucking Tyler Conklin, like yeah. that offense yeah. would be amazing oh, yeah. for him. They're already like top five offenses yeah. without Russell. Wilson. Yeah, imagine yeah, the Russell mobility Wilson. that Russell Wilson adds at the offensive line deficiencies. Yeah, like yeah, this guy's uh, the limit. Yeah, and there's a couple of teams that he could go to. Yeah, the Vikings. Yeah. Same. Um, yeah. So he, no, he, he's willing to waive the no trade clause for three teams, and the, it's the Packers, the Saints, and I think the Giants. Which I I, I don't know. if I might have to clear that one up, but I'm not I might sure. need to call I Russell. I want to say it was the Eagles when I first looked at that. Ooh, I don't, I don't remember they, seeing that one. When Jalen and when they weren't sure about Jalen Hurts yeah. and things like that. Yeah, well, how stupid could they be? Yeah. Don't you have Russell Wilson on your speed dial? Let's call him real quick and talk to him about yeah. coming on the Vikings. Um, but yeah, again, the Cardinals need to win and they need some help. They still have a chance at the division. Again, I think they want to move into the playoffs with some momentum, as you mentioned, that they've been losing games down the stretch. So. We talked about the Arizona Cardinals. We wanted to see convincing victories from them. They beat the Cowboys last week. That to me was impressive. Mm-hmm. But the Cowboys also, it didn't feel like they played their best. So like there's still there's still something to be desired. I feel like from the Arizona Cardinals, For sure. specifically from how well they looked early in the season and how yeah. far how far it seems like they've fallen off. But again, still at eleven to five, should be intriguing matchup. Let's jump into the next game.